Hello again. We didn't do much recording yesterday, but uh, Deline Grant, who's Lance's dad's cousin, came to fetch us from Brandon's house. And she took us to a few shops just to get some groceries. Uh, they have pick and pay here as well as same like in South Africa. Uh, so we went there and we stopped off at a local farmer's market to get some fresh fruit and veg. And then we met her daughter Robin at the restaurant that she works at. Had some delicious carrot cake. And then we made our way out to the farm which is 45 minutes outside of Harare. And today we've just decided to come down to the dam and we're going to canoe around, enjoy some bird life. We've already seen some jacanas, um, fish, fish eagle, what was the other one? The grey, grey hornbill. Grey hornbill and, and swifts. Swift and that other one that was walking on the thing. Oh, okay. <laughs> it's like a moran or mohan or something. Yeah, a mohan in the comments. Um, so yeah, we have had a really nice morning so far and we're just going to enjoy the week here on the farm, exploring what there is, go for some hikes and things like that, but we will show you whatever we do. decided to have lunch over here under the farm boat shelter next to the dam or part of the dam there we were getting so scorched by the sun so we decided to come get some shade and have something to snack on check how huge these apples are <laughs> they're crazy crazy big but i'm sure they're going to be delicious how's that apple it's good <laughs> Compared to SA? I would say better. Better? Yeah. Much better than South African apples. Mm. Nothing juicy. <laughs> Our snack for today chippies locally made in Zim. This is Champion. Yes. <laughs> He's showing us how he fishes. Yes, yes. So now I want to put the earthworm. Yeah. Oh, you slide it on? Yes, yes. Hmm. I know the depth of that place. That's why I put the long one. Oh, to throw? Yes, I oh. want to throw, yes. <laughs> right. Sure. Yeah. And now we wait. Yes, I wait. Record. It's okay. <laughs> throw far. Yes, not far enough. <laughs> <laughs> Let me try to throw it properly. Yeah, I'll try again. Not as easy as it looks. No, definitely not. Yes, this we want to greet you. Yeah. Yeah. Morise. Morise, and then. You reply me with Tindribo. Say? You. You reply me. Tindribo. Tribo. Yes. Tribo or? Tindribo. Tindribo. Okay, Tindribo. Heading back for lunch now. Yeah, I've had an awesome little bird trip on the dam. Yeah. Had a lot of fun, lots of birds seen. Champion showed us how to fish with the basics. Yeah, it taught us how to do a couple local greetings. Yeah. Yeah, so a very nice day in Zimbabwe. For now we're gonna head back for lunch and then see how the afternoon goes. Beautiful 
little farmhouse. I'm taking a hike all the way to that mountain over there. Hope we're having fun. This is only the baby. Yo. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> oh, Baby Bobiani or whatever. Is it yeah, right? Bobiani. Bobiani, and that one is Bobiani. Yeah. <sighs> now it's hot and sweaty. I got a sula. Sweaty, I got lip of it. Top of Bobby Arms. Check that view out. A little bit of a rainstorm coming towards us. We finally made it. Made it. Made it. <laughs> <laughs> to the top we finally of, made it to the top of Bobby John. Yeah. yeah. The other one we showed you was the baby, baby Bobby John. Yeah. We finally made it. The dogs, as you can see, are also tired. But we did it. And it's literally a 360 degree view. The next day we went for a tour around a neighboring tobacco farm. We walked through the entire process from how the leaves are clamped and hung up onto trolleys to the drying tunnels and eventually the grading and packaging into bales. The tunnels in which they dry the leaves start at 39 degrees Celsius, 47% humidity and end at 71 degrees Celsius and 90% humidity, whereby the leaves achieve a lovely golden color. We walked through that tunnel. Yes, we almost melted started sweating immediately. The leaves are graded by color and size and every little piece is packaged, even the scraps are baled. Everything can be sold. They compress the bales with a wooden box and then a lady hand sews them closed. It was such an interesting process to witness. We're on our way back to the dam this morning. Yesterday we went to the dam for sundowners. We watched, we all paddled around and watch the sun go down yeah we saw a lot of fish uh, rising and yeah jumping a little bit so i was itching yeah Lance was itching, itching to, to fish so got the rods in hand borrowed some gonna fishing. give it a gonna give it a try yeah let's see if we can catch anything trying on no such luck yet Trying the drag technique. Yeah, just trolling. <laughs> just trolling. <laughs> oh, there's obviously someone on the bus. I can't catch fish in any band. Yeah, Zimbabwe. 
while we're squished on laughing. <laughs> Alright, let's see. <gasps> You're on! Oh, you got one, buddy! Sure. Come on! Woohoo! Yes, please! <laughs> <laughs> oh my That's God. so funny, I thought it was weed. That is so funny. Woohoo! First fish of Zimbabwe. Nice. Very yeah. cool. Hold on this one. Push it, push it, push it. I want to do a little planting. We're on our way back from the dam. We finally caught one fish. Yeah, I'm very happy about that. <laughs> so at least we can say we caught a fish in Zimbabwe. Um, so now we're on our way back to the farmhouse. And then um, we're gonna go hand out food bags to the orphan kids with Barry. He's gonna take us to a township nearby. Yeah, so yeah. Barry runs a little um, NGO where he kind of just yeah, collects food for an orphanage and helps feed them. Yeah, so we're gonna go do that this afternoon and then chillax. Yeah. <laughs> Hope to Rero was founded by Barry and Deline Lenton in 2021, who have been assisting 85 orphan children living in the communal lands. They were both overwhelmed by the selflessness and generosity of grandmothers and other elderly foster parents who gladly take on the responsibility of caring for others when they already have so little themselves. They help these elderly women and widows care for the orphans by primarily sharing the gospel of Jesus Christ and giving them knowledge to sustain themselves, as well as a $20 food pack per child every second month as an assistance. Their goal is to be able to assist more orphans in these areas and have therefore decided to seek financial assistance from anyone being led by the Lord. You can find their details in the description box below. We spent our last day on the farm walking around, checking out the dairy that was first built in the 1950s, of which some parts are still used today. They're able to milk eight cows at a time. We then went to see the piggery where we saw one day old piglets. They were so cute. Fun fact about pigs, they're pregnant for three months, three weeks, and three days. I bet you didn't know that. What sound does a cow make, babe? <laughs> <laughs> So we're just here at um, a bird sanctuary, it's called Birds at 30 in Harare and yeah it was so lovely to see all the different birds, they're all in their own little enclosures um, but really nice enclosures, they're big enough for them to fly around, got lots of vegetation and everything so it was really cool to see all of the different kinds. After the bird park, we met up with Robin and went to watch some of her friends' horses in the horse racing at Borradale Park. It was so awesome meeting everyone and making new friends. The horse racing was exciting too, especially because we had a connection to the horses. First time for me, and I can imagine it being even more fun if you win money. Sadly, we couldn't risk it. We then all went to Tin Roof for dinner, followed by some jawling. I mean, we had to jaw in Tin Roof, come on. And the next morning, we walked around Stables Market, enjoying all the locally handcrafted and painted items. I wish I could fit them all in my bag. They were beautiful. It's basically like a little local market with all sorts of goodies. Lance found a bucket hat he liked, and Robin got us a little souvenir to add to our adventure jar from Zim. 
Afterwards, we went for Sunday lunch with some extended family where we were lucky enough to meet during our stay. It was so lovely getting to know everyone. Uncle John and Auntie Syl were kind enough to host us for two nights before we headed to our next destination. Busy packing our bags. Last night in Harare. We're yeah. going to catch a bus tomorrow morning uh, to Gweru. Yeah. Are you excited for the bus trip? Um, it's going to be so interesting. Our first bus trip of this holiday or this Africa trip. So it's going to be very interesting. Ready to go? Yeah, ready.